Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Last time we defeated the Frost Gigas who turned out to be Santa Claus in disguise. Ooh. Now I started this off back at uh, the Canon Travel here in the Ice Country. And if you try to go Kakara, he says he doesn't have enough gunpowder, so we can only take you to Matango. It's kind of weird because I think Kakar is a lot closer than Matango, or they're about equidistant from each other. So, whatever. We have to take a little trip back through Matango, back to the canon travel over here. So I guess that's one of the demerits of doing the Ice Country quest first. Oh well. I think it's worth it. And let's get the sprite in the lead here because she has, or he, has the axe. If we need to get through this cave. And screw you, Kimono Bird. I've had enough of dealing with your antics and your little pebblers there. And... Ugh, damn owls. <laughs> yeah, set him on fire. Teach him a lesson. Alright, so here's the canon travel guy we need to talk to, to... We need to talk to, to get to Kakara. But of course, since uh, there's a little plot wall there to prevent us from going to Kakara from the ice country, I think that's a little bit suspicious and would lead us to believe that something is going to go wrong. And... Uh, yeah, looks like we're gonna land in the middle of the desert. The uh, oops. <laughs> Covered with sand. It's a desert, what do you expect, you little turd? Alright, uh, and you're stuck in the desert here with these sand stingers and everything. Oh, the easy way to deal with this area is to just do a counterclockwise circle through the screens. A couple of pebblers. Who cares? And let's go up, left, down, right. And I'll take it where you need to go. Of course, I might as well just show off killing these enemies. Because the desert's a pretty forgettable place, I mean... All the screens are pretty similar, and, uh... Ooh, here's a pumpkin bomb. They can also be ballooned. It's kind of an interesting, like, a uh, daze or paralysis spell. Oh, and here's our, uh, little cutscene here, showing that we did the right thing. It's going in a circle, and... At this point, we just go up one screen, and... Next little storyline event will happen. Sorry to spoil it about five seconds before it happens, but. Yep, here we go, a sand ship. What a lifesaver, and yeah, no kidding. Imperial spies? Yeah, that's right, we were just walking around in the middle of a scorching desert, no shelter or anything, and, uh, we were just waiting for the one in a million chance that your little sand ship would come by, and we just walked aboard in plain view of you guys. We are that stupid. But now we've been, I guess, captured, and now we are forced to do manual labor on the ship. And the boy, who we're controlling now, is assigned to the engine room, I guess. And here's a uh, servo we were talking to. To be a pirate, apparently, before the season went out of control. That's harsh. Secret sand ship. Get to work. I don't feel like it. So, just talk to Sergo again, and he will help us escape. We just talk to the guards now, and. He pretends there's a fire, and now the guards just walk around, have a little casual Sunday stroll, even though they think there's a fire. Not really investigating too carefully, I guess. 
Where's the fire? Well, it's not. It's probably not five feet within the staircase you were standing at. Here's a sand chip. We're only here once, so why not walk around, stretch our legs a bit. And yeah, there's two entrances we can take, so... Um, we need to find the sprite and the girl. may enter there, so that eliminates one area to go to. And you can come up here, talk to this soldier up here, and he will let you save your game, if you need to. But we were obscenely powerful for this point in the game because we went to the ice country first, so... Not much chance of us dying up here before getting to Katara. Stop while we get in. He ate all the ship's food. Hey, who's saying all that stuff? <laughs> what do you have to say, old beard man? Okay, he's saying Zat. Is that your friend? Alright, let's get moving. And uh, you need to get out of the way of the door. There. Move. Thank you. So, let's go back to where those guards were. Give them the story about all the ship's food being gone. Rats have eaten all the food, huh? They just calmly walk out, and the Sprite's laughing like a maniac. I'd rather have my gun scraped than touch your hairy, moly, ugly back, you bastard. She's being a... Hmm, I wonder if it rhymes with switch or bunt. <laughs> yeah, that's right, runt. Oh yeah, they treat us so shabbily now. I guess they're gonna expect us to clean up their little mess here, huh? Alright, now we have some Imperial soldiers. Surrender! Yes! Yeah, it looks like they're helpless to do anything about these guys. And here's Geshtar. So long, chumps. What, you're leaving us to fight this, this pushover? This guy really is a pushover. And one of the easiest bosses in the game. I don't think he's really weak to anything. Let's have a look, see. Pretty sure he doesn't have any weaknesses or anything like that. No, he's not weak to anything. He doesn't have very high defense, so your attacks will do pretty good damage. And he doesn't have that much HP, so. I'll go down pretty quickly. Oh, at least hit him, come on. Can we try a charge attack again? And of course I miss. It's the thing about charge attacks, they, you know, you spend so much energy trying to save up for them, and then when you finally execute them, you miss. There's a quick 120 damage right there. Yeah, the worst thing this guy's gonna do is run you over like that and cause you to become unconscious. Of course our armor's really good at this point, so he's barely even putting a dent in us. Come on, hit him. There we go, he's dead. Very, very easy boss.
to go. Hear that phrase a lot in this game. I like to pat us on the back every once in a while. That's nice. We need jobs. Hey, we're out to save the world. We've got our jobs. Are we leaving? No, let's have a little bit of a, a little powwow with these guys first. Shoot. What a mess. Yeah, we're Gemma's friends, you jerk. I think maybe Gemma should teach your son some discipline. I mean, discipline? No, some manners and some... Some courtesy. I mean, we're out to save the world and he's treating us like second-class citizens? I don't think so. When we get done saving the world, uh, he's gonna be our... He's gonna be our uh, royal jester. Jerk. Yay, we're friends with a little girl. Water, I need water! <sighs> and, uh, here's the, uh, mayor, or king of Kakara. Oh, uh, since I got the fire's mana seed first. The original dialogue doesn't go on. Everyone's moving away. Ice country. Huh? All gone. Yep, we put an end to that. Yeah, but if you come here first, before going to the ice country and getting the fire seat back, uh, when you go up and talk to the guy, he'll be like, Candy? I ain't selling you no damn candy. I'm the king, you jerks. Alright, so let's forge our boomerang, bow, and whip here. I'm gonna leave the spear as level 3, because I like the ability. And here's the shop owner. And I think he sells the same stuff we can buy at uh, Toto Village. So, no need for any of that. And let's just stay at the end to recover what MP we lost. Even though we didn't really lose that much. Yep, we'll just stay at the inn and then we will head over to the Fire Palace. It's just west of Kakara. Let's go one screen down, one screen left, and one screen up, I think. Yeah, from the first screen, the desert just go down, left, up, and then you're at the Fire Palace. It's not a good idea to be wandering the desert because you can get lost. And stay away from those uh, things of quicksand there because they, if you walk through them, these spires will appear and the first thing they will do is cast Earth Slide on you. And I don't know what the damage calculator is, but sometimes it can do no damage, sometimes it can do a lot of damage. So it's a good idea to just avoid them. Go on the way to the Fire Palace, we will have. One case where we can't avoid them, so, yeah, right here. And we have the serene palace music going on here, even though... Looks like this place is overcome with enemies. At least outside. Got these sand stingers. Right at the bottom of the stairs there, there will be a spider. Underground. And we've got a treasure chest, let's see. Candy, oh well. Don't eat candy. Yeah, there's that spider. Oh, you can balloon him. Yeah, cast Earth Slide. 100% guarantee that he's gonna cast Earth Slide pretty much. So let's get out of here. And there's another spider right here. Oh, gem missile too. Hey, wait. Okay. Something cast gem missile on us. The spider cast uh, earth slide. Oh, I guess he cast gem missile the second time he appears. Yep, and the inside is overrun with monsters too. But it's just these uh, robin foots, I think they're called. Yep. Very, very easy enemies. They take like two hits to kill, and they give a lot of experience. So. There's one place where there's a really, really good 
grinding spot, and I'll see you next time on the Spicy Under Man.